Hello everyone and welcome back to Commas with Kimberlina. Today we'll be reacting to The Remarried Empress, episode 4. Um, I'm going to try to get out quite a few videos today. Um, I'm not sure how many yet, but I'm going to try to get a lot done because it's my day off and I don't think I've no, I did post last night, like, early in the morning. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, let's just get right into it. <clears throat> yes, she is your lady-in-waiting. But she is also my citizen of my emperor. Empire. Mm. Whoosh. Come. Lock her up for three days. What? Thump, smirk. Your majesty, that's quite excessive. Excessive? This girl is injured and under my care, yet your lady-in-waiting called her a filthy wench. Glare. But you still think my punishment is excessive? No, your majesty, it's not excessive at all. Laura. It seems we're finished here then. You may take your leave. Clinch. Three days later. I personally went up to the tower Laura had been locked away in and brought her back. I then had her bathed in my room and had just finished preparing her favorite dessert. Ooh, they look good. Look at those cupcakes and the, the, the little strawberry cake in the back and all the fruit and stuff. When His Majesty wants to see me, Pardon me for interrupting, but yes, his order was to take you to him immediately. Fine. Let's go. Her Majesty is here to see you, Your Majesty. Are you called? Ah, yes, Empress. You may leave. Swish, swish. I heard you insti wait, insisted on personally escorting the girl I'd locked up. Did you really have to? Are you asking why I had to personally attend to her when you expressly had her punished? So you know, and you still tended to her when you should have had her thrown out instead. It's unjust to throw out a servant punished for being devoted to me. Moreover, her actions were well within the bounds of common sense. So you insist on keeping her by your side? She's already be a laughing stock for being punished for having a sharp word with a mere runaway slave who's yet to even be a mistress who I appoint as my lady-in-waiting is my prerogative. But if I also have her exiled from court, she'll be ostracized. What? From a society. What, what is happening? Who is he talking about? I'm really confused now. Is he talking about um her um Laura, or is she? I'm really confused right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Laura got punished because I'd been outdone by Rashta that time, but this is as far as it goes. This goal with you tires me. That says Queeble. I'm sorry. Oh, we all know I like to make up words, though. So. <laughs> Why can't you just obediently do as I say for once? 
what obediently do as you say. The Empress is not someone who is here to be at your beck and command, Your Majesty. That's why I can't help but compare you two. Sorry, I have a movie in, on in the background. I'm just like... A little distracted, sorry. Compare me. With whom? I'm tired. You may go. Click. Plop. I'm thirsty. Mm. Have you called? Your Majesty? What? Rashta? Since when have you worked as an attendant? Well, I thought it was only right that I do my fair share, sh share to help. So you will be my attendant? Yes. What an amusing girl you are. You struggle to even walk. How could you do an attendance job? It's quite all right for you to rest. Here. Have some pumpkin pie instead. What? Wow. Pumpkin pie? Are you this excited over simple pie? Just, it's not just any pie. It's give, I give the empress expensive jewels and her reaction is so frigid. But it takes so little to move you to joy. How fascinating. Is the Empress not pleased with your gifts? She is, and I know she is grateful, but she's quite reserved and only shows the barest flickers of emotion. It must be because she grew up without knowing a day of hardship. She doesn't know how harsh the world is. She probably takes her gifts of precious gems for granted. Hmm. I don't mean to speak ill of her. I just mean it's like that for everyone who's been raised with plenty. It would be the same for you if you were given large gems as gifts. I'm sure you would feel indifferent. I see. My prey is clever clever than she seems. Oh, poo. You're always calling me your prey. But um but um but um Oh, um but your majesty you said you would make me your mistress. That's right. It seems like the Empress didn't know. It's no matter, there, wait, it's no matter, there's no rush, is there? We'll take it slow. D oh, okay. Don't worry, your pretty little head. I have a plan in mind. Oh, okay, so we have to wait, like, I think four days for the next one to come out. Um, I'll go to the other one, your throne. We'll be doing that one a lot today. Um, but yeah, if you guys do want me to continue this webtoon, just leave a comment and let me know that you want me to do that. Um, yeah. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and put on the notification so you don't miss any other videos. Bye, you guys.